welcome, but welcome everyone. Um, this is our handshake how to presentation. Um, we're going to have some of our student workers in the Career Center give a great presentation on um, everything that has to do with handshakes. So it'll be super informative. Um, just wanted to let you all know that I will be sending a um, student check-in link in the chat for you to fill out. Um, it's just a little bit of information. Um, and if you fill out the student check-in, you will be entered in to win a prize package. Um, we have some cool giveaway gifts. I think we have like a tripod, um, a little ring light you can put on your phone, um, some some of those more technology-based supplies that we all need nowadays with how often we're on our computer and phones. Um, so make sure you fill out that um, check-in. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen so that our connectors can begin their presentation for being here, everybody. Hey, everyone. I um, wanted to thank you guys for coming to the Handshake How To. I think we're just going to take a quick second to introduce ourselves. So hi, I'm Mackenzie Payton. I'm a junior this year at GV, and I'm an advertising and public relations major with a minor in psychology. And I'm going to be presenting on my computer. So if you see me looking over here while I'm talking, that's why I'm doing that. But yeah, good to meet you. I am Julian Aranjo. I am a junior at Grand Valley, majoring in computer information systems with a minor in business. And I am so excited to talk about Handshake with you guys. I'm Julian. I'm also a junior here and I'm studying um, elementary ed and English. So I'm really excited. Hey guys, my name is Priscilla and I'm double majoring in computer science and applied math. Um, yeah, I was really excited to be here. Okay, so I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Can you guys all see it? Does it look good? Perfect. All right, let's get started. Awesome. So as I told you guys, we are super excited that you guys are here joining us this morning. And uh, without further ado, let's get started into getting to know Hanshi. Let's make the plan. So um, a little bit about of what the Career Center is. Um, in a non-COVID year, uh, we would have two major locations for the Career Center in the field campus and downtown campus. But as we all know, everything is going online for now. So the Career Center is also online for, for now. Next slide. Um, but what is the Career Center? What can we offer you as a student? So for example, if you have a little doubt or questions about your major, or if you just want to talk about your uh, internship possibilities, we offer one-on-one -on -one appointments for you just to talk about or ask questions. Um, but maybe you have an interview or something coming up, or either you're a little bit nervous or you just don't really know what to expect on an interview. We also offer simulated interviews. And we also have the Career Lab, which is probably our major role as the Career Center, where um, you can just drop in any time from Monday through Friday. And we can either go over your resume letters, or you can just ask us a lot of questions about LinkedIn or networking. Anything related to that, we can answer you at the Career Center. Next slide. So what is Handshake? Um, Handshake is a really, really, really good platform for students who are uh, pretty college, because especially it helps you connect you as a student with either an alumni, but especially employers. Because let me tell you, employers from all over the country are looking for students like you. So Handshake is really, really the place to go. Next slide. So you guys might think that Handshake is just like a little platform that GVCU and some other small schools have. No, Handshake, as I told you, it's all over the US. So this is the place to go if you want to find an internship or connect with an employer. Handshake is the place to go. 
and to tell you a little bit more about that, my case is going to be talking to you now. Awesome. So some ways that you can utilize um, Handshake. Uh, you can schedule appointment with your career advisor. You can apply for jobs and internships, register and attend career events, both virtual and in person, which we will definitely be touching on in just a hot second. And correct with, connect with career counselors to explore majors and career paths, as well as just kind of some general like research of employers that you're interested in working with. Um, and this can definitely help when you're prepping for interviews or just kind of want to learn more about who the company is and what their values are. So the easiest way to find Handshake, we recommend using um, gvsu.edu forward slash careers. So we're going to click this link. Then it's going to take you to the Career Center landing page. And in this tab right here, you can see Handshake. So you would click that. Then you'll be taken to this page. And if you scroll down, you'll see student login, alumni, employer, and you will click on the link that pertains to you. So I will click the student login. And now I'm going to pass it on to Jillian. Great. So you've made it to Handshake. You might have to log in. You use your Grand Valley um, login that you use for my banner or for your email. It's all the same. It's all connected. So you're, it's going to take you to this home screen. And the first thing that you're going to want to do if you don't have a Handshake profile is create a Handshake profile. So if you go over into the corner, there should be like a little circle and you can click on that and hit my profile and it'll bring you to your profile. Um, you can do a lot on your profile. You can add, obviously, your majors, um, your minors, what year you're expected to graduate. Um, if you feel comfortable putting your GPA on there, you can. And then from there, you can put like talk about your journey um, into getting your career. You can talk about your education, both high school, community college, and whatnot, and then as well as your work and volunteer experiences. Um, and then you can also add other opportunities or other um, extracurriculars that you do in different organizations, as well as your interest, different courses you've taken, um, different like project areas that you've done or different course um, courses. So there's a lot that you can put on there and um, Handshake gives you the nice little thing that says you are this much percent complete with your profile. And it's super helpful to have that because it'll just say like, this is what you still need to do. And it's super helpful because the more thorough that your Handshake profile is, the more that Handshake will cater things to you when you go to search them, employers can look at your profile and the more that you have filled out the better it's kind of like a bigger version of like your resume it's super important to have all of that filled out and filled out well and if you ever need help with that we have virtual career lab in the career center and we can definitely help you out even if it's a small question or a big question don't feel nervous about coming in because we definitely are here to help you with that um, so once you make an appointment you can do a lot of things when it comes to handshake and i'll hand it over to um, mackenzie to talk about how to make an appointment Thanks. So we're going to go back to the home page to make an appointment. So to make an appointment with the Career Center, you're going to go to this Career Center GV tab. And it's going to load. And then you're going to see a bunch of different um, options for you to click on, but you're going to click on appointments. So schedule a new appointment. And it's going to bring you to this page that has a bunch of categories, um, including every major. And if you are exploring your major or you're just kind of talking about like you're unsure of your career opportunities or options, there is even a tab for you. So I am an advertising public relations major, so I'm just going to click where that would fall under. And choose your appointment type is the next thing that you would do. So like we touched on in the beginning, we offer resume and cover letters, but so much more. Um, internship and job search, interview prep and simulated interviews, networking and online personal branding, as well as just some like general career questions. And I feel like it's always good to check in with your career advisor, even if you are having any questions. So let's say that we're gonna make a resume and cover letter review. And then it's going to take you to a bunch of dates and you will find like you can scroll through and like pick your week and your month that you're interested in making an appointment. So let's say you find a day that works best for you and you'll see all the open opportunities. So let's say I'm going to make this appointment on April 8th for 8 p.m. Then it's going to take you to your appointment medium. So you can do a phone appointment or if you feel more comfortable, you can do a Zoom appointment and I'll give you that link. Um, then the second box, what can we help you with is something important to fill out because this can help your career advisor kind of get those resources in, resources in line and understand kind of what the intent of your um, 
event is. Then you're going to put your best phone number to reach you if necessary. And how did you hear about our services? So if you were referred by an advisor or a super awesome career connector, definitely put their name down. And then you just click request. So that's it. Great. Do we have any questions up until here about uh, making an appointment or making a profile? You can either just um, unmute yourself or you can put them in the chat. If not, we can move on to um, going to look for jobs and different events. So if you want to go back to the home screen, that like little two fit person figure is always going to take you back to this home screen. Um, if you ever get lost on Handshake, this is what I recommend going to. But the first box is for jobs. So if you want to click on that, this is how you're going to find all the different job opportunities um, that Handshake has to offer. And as you can see, there is a filters option. So you can look by location, whether what kind of job you want, if you want um, full-time job, part-time internship on campus. You can also check for paid and unpaid. Um, there's, and you can also put your interests and like if you have any preferences. There are so many different things that can really help you cater um, really what you're looking for. So you're not looking for ages through jobs that don't pertain to you. And again, having your profile filled out will also help you narrow down some of these positions. Um, but once you've put in all your filters, it'll pop up with all the different um, job opportunities and internship opportunities on the left hand side and you can scroll through them as Mackenzie is and you can see all these different ones. And then once you find one that pertains to you or you find interesting, you can click on it and it'll show it on the bigger side here and it'll give you a little bit more about the role, say whether it's, you know, full time, part time, if there's a salary for it, um, it'll give you a description of the job and some of the requirements they want in a candidate. And it also gives you this little feature that match, it says how well you match it. So, you know, if you have um, the right GPA and major that they're looking for, um, if they want like a third school year, it'll check all of that off and say, hey, this is great for you. We think this is a good idea. And you can also learn more about the company looking for the internship themselves. But if you see it, you go through and you decide, I want to apply to this. You can hit the little red button and it'll either say quick apply, apply, or apply externally. Uh, apply externally will take you to the company's webpage or wherever they want you to apply to. Um, the other two will stay on Handshake and you will apply right through Handshake. Quick apply, super great, because a lot of times it'll just um, it'll just say that you've applied. But um, if, you, if it's like the normal apply, then you can add your resume, which you can pre-add to Handshake as well as cover letters, other documents, maybe like your school schedule, or um, maybe like a project you've done that they are looking for and you can pre-add those in and it'll ask you to choose which ones you want and then you can just hit apply and you've applied that way. Um, or if you wanna come back later and you don't really wanna apply right now, there's a little flag that you can hit and it'll save it and it'll go to your saved jobs and you can go back later and apply for those. And one thing Handshake is really great about is if you save a job or you look at a job or you don't finish the application, it'll send you an email reminder when it's starting to close. So it'll be like, hey, you applied to this or you looked at this, don't forget to apply. And it's super helpful because sometimes we can all forget and having that reminder is really great, especially when the job is something you're really interested in. So if you want to go back to the home page, we can do something similar to with events. You can also search through events the same way. So if you click that um, second to last box there, same thing, you come to an event search page. And here's where you're going to find all like the career different events, ones that the Career Center puts on. There are also external ones that Handshake runs. Right now, you can see all of our work, like the Laker events that are coming up this week and next week. Um, but again, you can scroll through those. If you find ones that you're interested in, you can click on more or again, hit that saved tab. And if you click on one, um, we can show you how to register for it. So say I want to go to how to use Career Center Plus. Um, I read through, I decide this is an event that I find really interesting. This is what I want to do. So if you're not already logged in, it'll, that blue button will say log in. But since the kids are already logged in, you can just click register and that'll register for you for the event. And this is the same place that you're going to find the Zoom link five minutes before your event starts. Um, if it's virtual, if it's not virtual, um, it'll tell you obviously where to be and at what time. Other than that, I think we have a question in the chat. Um, if anyone else has any other questions about um, jobs or events, please feel free to ask them now. Let me pull up this chat here for a second. 
Would I recommend uh, students update their resume for each job opportunity they apply for? I think that can very much vary um, on the job. If there's a specific thing that people are looking for in the jobs, then absolutely, um, you know, keep your resume as updated as possible as well. So if something changed or you change your major, you're working another job, definitely make sure to update that resume pretty often. Do we have any other questions about jobs or events? If we don't, if we do, feel free to jump in. If we don't, um, I'm gonna hand it over to Julia to talk about a little bit more on um, the resources that Handshake has. Thank you, Jillian. So Mackenzie, if you wanted to go back to the Handshake home screen, I'm gonna ask you to click on that very last box for Career Center. And this will take you to the Career Center page within Handshake. So there's an option to find resources. And this section usually has career related articles. I like to go through these every once in a while because you never know what information you can find, but it's usually useful to all students. So for example, a lot of students don't know that the Career Center hosts a podcast. New episodes are released every two weeks and you can find more information on Spotify or follow the Career Center Instagram. So um, before I go on real quick, does anyone have any questions about the resources tab on Handshake. And if anyone does, you can put it in the chat, but Mackenzie, if you wanted to go to a new tab and go to the Career Center website, which is just gvsu.edu slash careers, I would like to talk to you about another great resource that the Career Center offers, which is the Virtual Career Lab. So we've talked to you about making an appointment with your advisor and we've also made it very convenient for you to drop in for help on resumes or cover letters or any general career questions you might have including getting started on handshake so you can definitely drop in if you need help creating a profile or help with your profile you can find the career lab on the career center website where you can also find our hours so we are open every monday to thursday from 11 a.m to 7 p.m Fridays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we also have Sunday hours from 5 to 8 p.m. So before I go on, does anyone have any questions about Career Lab? And if you do, feel free to unmute yourself or put them in the chat. And we'll also have time for questions at the end if you guys think of anything that you have questions on throughout the presentation. So the last thing we'd like to talk to you about today is the Work Like a Laker conference which starts today. The conference, you can find a lot of information on the conference. Uh, if you click on that banner and the Career Center website, and it'll take you to a really nice event schedule where you can find events such as preparation sessions, professional development, industry information, and virtual career internship and summer job fair. And if you scroll to the bottom, there's also a really nice feature where you can find the events uh, categorized by special interest. So for example, if you wanted to, if you're interested in education or majoring there, you could definitely find a bunch of events that are related to your major. And you can register by clicking into the link and scrolling down to RSVP for this event. Yeah, so for example, how to use Career Fair Plus, if you scroll down, you'll find lots of info about the event and then you'll also find RSVP for this event. And you would register the same way that Jillian showed you how to register for any event on Handshake. So does anyone have any questions about the Work Like a Laker conference or how to register for events? Like I said, you can put any question in the group chat and I hope everyone was able to learn a lot today about Handshake and other Career Center services. Thank you so much for being here and for being a great audience. And at this time, I would like to open up the floor to any questions. No questions. 
I know most of you probably figured out how to at least get to this work like a liquor event. So that's good. <laughs> um, have you all been able to see some of the other ones coming up and maybe register for other ones that you are interested in? Yeah. Cassie, I think you were unmuted. Were you going to ask a question? I don't want to call you out if you weren't going to, but I saw you unmute. No, absolutely. I was just curious when you guys were um, showing about looking up jobs and stuff on Handshake, how often would you say that's updated with um, new opportunities in the area? Oh, I can definitely speak on that. I, um, at the Career Center, part of my job is also approving jobs on Handshake. And I can tell you that it definitely builds up if we don't continue to approve them. So there are new opportunities on there every day. So make sure to go and look if you're looking for opportunities in the area or not in the area, wherever you are. Well, if we don't have any other questions, as the Career Connectors said, um, feel free to drop into Virtual Career Lab if you do end up having questions about Handshake. Um, but we hope this was informative and that you can use this information as you move forward with, especially with the conference. Um, and yeah, we hope to see you at more events. Thank you all for attending. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat>